A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Look at this! So cute! Oh, look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? Like, I got a whole bunch of them. And I showed them to my butcher a couple of weeks ago. And he suggested we cook them. Put them on the barbecue. If you want to know what the butcher suggested and know about what happens in the decision making, whether we should eat these bunnies, yes or no, just check out the vlog. That's where it all happens. The link's down below. Of course, this is a weird question to ask, especially on a video like this, but it's a real question. Our food comes from someplace and it doesn't come from a plastic box. So we got to realize that it's a real animal and we got to treat it with respect. And I know a lot of people don't have to make these decisions, but I kind of have to do it because I live on a farm now and there are a lot of animals being born on a farm. And I, 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 personally, I didn't realize this, but when nine baby rabbits showed up out of nowhere, there's kind of a story behind that because we bought two male rabbits. Turned out they weren't both male rabbits after all. And now we have all these animals and nobody wants them. It's kind of a sad story, but at the same time, it's also an opportunity. So I'm thinking maybe if I like rabbit, I should take up that responsibility, be a man and process my own rabbits. But I've got to figure this all out and I don't want to nurse these rabbits up, grow them up and then eventually butcher them and eat them and not like them. Then I would rather do something else with these rabbits. So I decided to buy a rabbit already butchered and I'm going to put it on the grill and I'm going to see if I like it or not. So I picked up this beautiful free range rabbit. Looks absolutely gorgeous and I must say I can imagine that it's exactly the same thing as the rabbit that I got in my own pen. So it should give a good reference to what I'm eating. Now of course they left the liver in and the kidneys. Because they require a different cooking process I'm going to cut the kidneys out as well as the liver. Now I'm going to be stuffing this rabbit so I got a needle and I got some butcher's rope to close this all up. All I need now is a good stuffing. I'm going to start off with a whole pancetta and if you buy this stuff in bulk it's a lot cheaper. I'm going to cut this into strips just like with ordinary bacon and then we're going to cook it up in a cast iron skittle in our little wood fired oven. Next up is roasting some pine nuts and I'm going to do that in the hot cast iron pan with the pancetta grease and I'm going to let them turn golden brown. I'm also going to add some olives. Now this is optional. If you don't like olives, just skip them. And I'm finishing off strong with some parmigiano reggiano. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but it tastes so good. I'm mixing it in with all the rest of the ingredients and then I'm putting it in my rabbit. Now I'm going to sew it up with some butcher's twine and once I got it completely tied up, I'm just going to season the outside with some salt and pepper. And then it's ready for a Napoleon kettle grill. With the burning logs and the hot embers in my charcoal, I immediately have a hot grill ready to cook or basically smoke in this case. So I'm gonna put in my rabbit, I'm gonna place it in the middle. I'm gonna close the lid and let the smoke do its job. In the meantime, we're gonna make something to brush onto our rabbit. I'm gonna start with a couple of tablespoons of goose fat, to which I'm going to add a pinch of sea salt, some ground peña pepper, and of course, we're going to need some garlic. I'm using smoked garlic. You can use regular garlic if you want to. I'm going to press the garlic fine and add it to our goose fat. I'm also adding a teaspoon of fresh thyme and a tablespoon of fresh oregano, which I'm chopping fine. I'm adding it to the goose fat as well. And then I'm going to mix it up. Now, if you thought that was special, I'm also going to add some grated Parmesan cheese. It's going to add umami flavor to the goose fat and it's going to make it absolutely insane. Let's give that a quick try. Wow, that's mind blowing. The flavors are insane. Nutty, umami, salty, peppery, fresh herbs. Perfect. Our 
rabbit's almost all the way cooked. We got a nice smoke color on it. And now we're gonna brush on that goose fat. All that beautiful flavor is gonna go straight, that's gonna go straight onto our rabbit. Look at it, it instantly starts melting onto the skin. And once it's dripping with juices and flavor, it's time to plate up. Honestly, I've never had rabbit before. I had hair before, but rabbit, definitely not. So this is a big question mark for me. My guess is that since in the Netherlands we don't eat a lot of rabbit, it's probably not a preferred flavor. I do love one recipe, but again, it's with hair. It's hair pepper, it's such a great stew. But there's only one way to find out if the rabbit's any good. And of course, I'm taking the best part. This is the tenderloin. A little bit of the outside here. Mm. That's freaking amazing. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Whoa. Why haven't we eat, been eating this? Why don't we eat this? It tastes like a Kelly Bronze turkey, but it's a rabbit. It's a small animal, but it's packed with flavor. It's insane. It's almost like bacon flavor because the outside, I put a lot of salt on it. And that, that's super, super intense in flavor. And then you get all the fresh herbs that we brushed on with the goose fat. Basically the goose fat disappeared, it rendered off. But the herbs sticked on, juicy tender meat. And that's really, really juicy. Oh, this is going to be the Christmas dish. This is insane. We're gonna kill them all. We're gonna kill all the rabbits. You're gonna kill all the rabbits? All of them, all of them. You know what the good news is? Hmm? If you have them, after four months, you can have new babies. Yeah. Like, I can it takes three probably, months yeah. for them to mature yeah. and to be able to breed again. And yeah. then it takes another month for them to uh, give labor to the babies. Yeah. For so the people that say that, that this is sad or horrible things to do, they are mature. Yeah. Like eating lamb is a more terrible thing. Why? Why? Because it's a young animal. That leg has been staring me in the face. Can I also have a leg? You can have a leg too. Wow. The skin is really good. Wow. That goose fat did an amazing job. Like herb goose fat. I would almost say isn't it weird? Better than yeah, better a than. couple of things that I, I won't say it out loud. No, I'm not going to say it either. Why haven't we, as Dutch people, been eating this before? There well, are so many rabbits in the Netherlands. Like every Dutch kid at some point in his life has had rabbits. And probably that's why they don't want to eat them. But in real life, it's better than chicken. I said it. You said it. Can turkey fried rabbit? Whoa. Whoa, that's the best ripoff ever. Whoa. <laughs> we can do that, totally. The only thing that I have left to say is thank you for watching. Mm-mm-mm. mm mm Oh. Yeah, I don't know about that though. You don't want to try this? Yeah, I do. The kidney? Okay. You got one? Yeah. When, when, what did you do to it? I grilled it. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> now I cooked it in a cast iron pan with a little bit of that goose. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. Come on, that's pretty good, right? Mm. Rabbit kidney, good. Yeah, I have, I'm not a kidney fan, but this is pretty nice. Are you kidneying me right yeah. now? Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me that liver. I think I overcooked the liver though. Sorry about that. I don't like the liver, but this I is okay. I don't like the liver either. But now we're gonna close on the video yeah. because people are like, whoa, this video is way too long. Way too long. Way too long. Way too long. Yeah, we're gonna close but off. Why are you still even here, even? Yeah. Eden? yeah. Are you kidding me right now? Mm. Hashtag kidding me. If you really wanna hang out here, just go to the link down below for the vlog. Yeah, that's a hang really long now. story. Like half hour or oh. two and a half hours of long, long, extra boring, long content. Yeah, extra boring. Extra boring. If you like extra boring, Go hang with me and Marcia. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did. Now leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. A big thank you to our patrons and our YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's Mark. And keep on kidneying me.
I really like uh, I really like the combination of the stuffing, the yeah. mushrooms, the polenta, and the goose liver. Pancetta, is it amazing? Like, you gotta go to the web. Like they gotta go to the website. We didn't say that. No, they no. should be. Yeah, they should be. They're probably already at the website right now. If you download you're still the whole website, the whole, every all the content onto that. If private you can still phone. hear this, what are you doing here? Yeah, you should be on the website.